Ready? Live? I'm yes. Josh, Josh Benson, and we're at World of Commodore. This is the um, Commodore Shore, but as a precursor to the Commodore is the Altair 8800. And what are we going to do with this 8800 today? We're going to load the precursor to BASIC, the first BASIC that Microsoft made that later showed up in the Commodore system. And, uh, it was written by? Written by none other than Bill Gates and Paul Allen. Right. Are we going to load that off cassette? We're going to load that off, no, we're going to load that off paper tape right over here. And here is the paper tape here. and. I'm actually using spools of CDs to hold the paper tape. So it's kind of a mixture of technologies, a little bit old, a little bit new. There, we're recording. So, yeah, power on. Right, now, um, we're going to hit stop and reset both up at the same time. Okay, that resets it. Very good. Now we're ready to install the first byte. The first byte is over here is 041. It's on octal. So there, these are the first digit, second and third digit. Zero, four. Four, yeah. Okay, that's the four. There's the one. Four, one. Wait a second. Oh, because this is... Octal. Yeah, um, yeah. All right, here. And press deposit down. No, down. Yes. That's two, five, six. Very good. Now the next byte is zero one seven. Right, and and deposit down. It goes deposit down from here on because the, the down is deposit next, which increments it. Right, 22, yeah. Oh wait, that's zero two. So what you can do, before you run away from this address, if you can make the correction just by going two two and hitting deposit, and it stays on the same address. Now, yeah, yeah, that's it. It's it's done. Okay, so now go with, go on to the next byte, which is zero zero. Yeah, deposit down. Yeah, and that's so that advances it to the next location. Very good. Okay, stop. That's, and we, right, up, up. Because I'm rewriting. Right, because you're rewriting the same byte. <laughs> Deposit next, what it does is it, it goes advances to the next and then deposits. So it should really be next deposit, but they call it deposit next. Right. Now, the address will show you two, three, and if you look at your address at the last location, so you're right on the money there. So, do a reset again by pushing stop and reset both up. Okay, and now we're ready to get the paper tape. Before we're going to turn this on, 
We're gonna get the paper tape loaded in the right spot. Let's do that. So, the paper tape, the leader is a whole bunch of the same numbers, and so anywhere on a leader we have to be. We can open up our lid, line it up inside there, and make sure our sprocket is on the same, on the proper sprocket track. Close the lid. Our switch box here diverts the paper tape directly to the altar. Okay, and I'm going to flip this to tape the altar. So we're on tape to altar, which sends uh, sends this there directly there, and we're all ready to go. I'm going to just turn off the punch, turn on, and I'll be, I'm ready to turn on the reader with this button. But I'm not going to do that yet until I get the altar in a run mode. So let's go run mode on the altar. Uh, just put that switch down. Okay, and we are running. Now the lights, the bottom lights are on, which is good. It's in that little tight little loop, ready to load. And we're gonna go ahead and start the paper tape. Here we go. I said, here we go. Okay, cut. Okay, let's just reset this puppy and get it going again. And now let's try it again. All right, <laughs> this is the part where you want to edit because it's going to take a while to unload this spool. Like, uh... And that's it. There's the trailer. It's done. So, um, now for some reason, the first few bikes always come out a little bit garbled, but uh, if you come over here to the terminal and just hit enter, oops, sorry, we gotta go back to terminal mode. Hit enter, it wants the terminal width. The first one's supposed to be asking us how much memory size there is. If you just hit enter, it automatically determines that. Terminal width, just hit enter, let it choose a default. Then it's gonna ask some it's gonna ask some questions at next, which whether you want sign, the sign function, oh, yeah. R and D function, or um, another function. Uh, and then these are all auxiliary functions that weren't necessarily part of, it didn't need to be in basic. If you didn't need them, you could save some memory for your programs. But we're just gonna say yes and take them all. So a yes to that takes them all and we got so many bytes for free. And now we're ready to start typing in your program. Wow. Uh, one program for this.